Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to be going over how to um, grab values from the form that users might input. And in this today's example, the first example, what I'd like to do is just show copying a value from here to here. Now, mind you, these are just text boxes that I um, dragged onto the form. There's no bindings beneath them. So um, uh, we need to see how to do that because there, there is no current existing binding. So what you first do is you come down to the advanced area binding and choose edit, which is a little bit off the screen. I don't have a manage bean. Uh, there is one there, but I don't want to use that one. So I'm going to say uh, main new bean. doesn't matter what the name of it really is for this example. And we're going to cop, and we're going to call this, we have a um, copy from. And we're going to do the same for this one here, too. And you can see that when we did that, this um, value came in. So it actually creates bindings that are um, set to the being itself. So again, do the same thing, choose edit. This time we're going to choose the same being, and we don't want the same value, so we're going to say copy two. Can't spell them right. And you can see that then we now have this bound to the being. If we go over to our application navigator and you can now see that there is a bean here and we double click on it and you can see that we have the private rich input text copy from and copy to and then setters and getters for this now our bean is uh, we need to have this instantiate and um, i'm going to double click on this and that allows us to create a method for the bean, and then we can actually work in uh, Java to add code here. So I'm going to save this, and now if you're new to Java, you might consider doing it this way. And you can see that I'm getting the value from the thing here. And we might need to put a string there. In fact, actually, let me take a look at that again. Because, um, and we're just doing um, the copy from, okay? Copy from dot get value. And you can see that it's an object, okay? Now, you have to know a little bit about Java, but um, it comes back as a Java, uh, as an object, and in which case you need to cast that to a string. So you basically just put string value in front of here. If you're new to Java, that's something that is one of the difficulties of learning Java is that it's fairly, combat, uh, fairly strict in that regard. Now, um, copy two dot set value and you can see that that does take an object and you could put s in here now that is one way of doing it but frankly you don't really need to create a uh, variable here to do that because really all you need to do is copy that in and that, that is one of the nice things about java it does when you're first learning, it is a little bit hard to get, but um, since this takes an object, you don't need to have it translate to a string. It's kind of an extra step, and in fact, placing it in a variable is an extra step, and that takes memory. So let's just do it this way. So you can see that we have the copy to set value, and we're setting it from copy to dot get value. Let's run this and see how it works.
Okay, we've got our, our form now, and we're just going to put S in, and then we copy it to this value. Okay, so this is how you do it. And, um, you know, you could have a any number of uses for this, but it, it, it really is quite interesting to use. And the, the thing to notice is that you're not using the, the getters and setters here necessarily. You're getting it from copy from. Okay, so copy from dot get value. Um, and so keep that in mind. You're using the uh, variables that are created, not the set copy. We're doing the set value here. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Uh, that's the end of the video, and I hope this was helpful. Have a good evening.